There's a place deep beneath the Caucasus Mountains that almost no one will ever see. It's a world without sunlight, where the air is thick and the silence feels ancient. This is Veryovkina Cave, Earth's deepest known cave and possibly its most mysterious. If you want to find it, you'd have to start in the remote Arabica Massif, a tangle of forest and stone in Abkhazia, Georgia. Here, hidden in the trees, is a hole that drops more than 2,200 meters down. That's deeper than two Burj Khalifas stacked end to end, but underground. Now imagine stepping inside, you're leaving the world behind. The descent is slow, demanding and dangerous, ropes, harnesses, gear for every twist and drop. Expeditions here can last two weeks or more and you have to carry everything, food, tools, even the means to get back out. The air chills to just above freezing, and the walls drip with icy water. Sometimes you can hear nothing but your own breath and when the lights go out, even for a second, you realize just how far you are from home. But the deeper you go, the stranger it gets. Huge chambers open up, echoes bounce for seconds and bizarre rock formations twist from the ceiling. Down here scientists have discovered insects and microbes that exist nowhere else on Earth. Creatures that live without sunlight, feeding on minerals, thriving in total darkness. It's a kind of alien world and it raises a wild question, could life like this exist on other planets? Think about Europa or Enceladus, the icy moons where oceans hide beneath miles of ice. Exploring Veryovkina is like peering into those distant hidden seas. Even now much of the cave remains a mystery. Some passages are too narrow, too risky or just too deep to map. Every expedition uncovers something new and leaves a thousand more questions behind. So what is Veryovkina really? It's not just a cave, it's a question mark carved deep into the earth. And it's still waiting for someone brave, or maybe just curious enough, to find the answer. Vivir, editar y publicar un libro. Todo lo que necesitas para convertir tu historia en un legado. Y Odisea en el Mar Caribe. Libros de Fernando Castillo. ¿Qué estás esperando? Ordena ahora. Vivir, editar 